WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. Here the Dow Industrials right now trading down 66. Nasdaq off 84. S and P's down 11. Gold, gold contract up 22 dollars 10 trading at 2,022 an ounce. Now you get gold catching up. You know it's kind of interesting. Gold didn't move at all. You know last couple of days when the dollar's getting smoked. Uh, bottom line, dollar's up a buck 38, but gold's catching up. As is silver. Silver's up 29 cents, 24 dollars 25 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude flat, 77 dollars 83 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note trading up three ticks at 108.30. The 30-year down six at 115.20. And we get the 10-year right now, folks, at 4.4. Bottom line is that it was 5.02 as the high. And King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading up 130 ticks. 103.568 euros at 109. Yen is trading at a price point of 148. The British pounds at 125 to 1 US dollar. We head over to the SPY. We've been dealing with this ABC structure up 462, man. Bottom line, it wants it, you know, so we'll see how this is going to get here. But uh, we, we certainly just don't, we haven't stopped. And you got to remember something. I'll go through this when, we, when the program starts. But Thanksgiving, and particularly on the Friday and Thanksgiving, I have seen them run the market like in an extraordinary way. And <laughs> guess what? That could happen in two seconds flat because it's going to be uh, an illiquid market. They want to run this market. They can run that market right. Oh, my God. I mean, yeah, yeah forget it. I mean, I'm talking in a monster way. Now, that being said, now check this out. You know, you know, Microsoft, uh, OpenAI, the whole bit, what's been going on. Well, Microsoft now is in an ABC structure up. You're at 372. Microsoft is a structure 417. And then, of course, we get, uh, let's just go to the dollar, because we get NVIDIA after the close out here. That's going to move the NDX 100. You take a look at the, uh, the, dollar. the dollar. The dollar, bottom line, now the dollar is going for the bottom of its uh, consolidation, which is the 99,500 area. It ripped right through where it could have had some support, which was the 104,699. We're at 103,562. So bottom line is that you're going to, that the market has breathing room. That's the bottom line. The, the lower the dollar goes, the more that the market has breathing room. And that just has to do with the aspect of how numbers work in general. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back to recap. We have the Dow Industrials down 52, NASDAQ off 75, S&P's off 9. We'll come right back.